Hello and welcome to this webinar about how to leverage LinkedIn to generate doctor leads and acquire doctor clients. I'm Dr. Vicki Rackner, your host. I leverage my experience as a practicing physician, clinical faculty at the University of Washington School of Medicine, and entrepreneur to help my clients accelerate their practice growth by acquiring more physician clients. You'll take away from this webinar a strategic approach to lead generation to help you acquire more doctor clients, You'll see how you can execute these strategies using LinkedIn. And third, we'll talk about your next steps if you would like to harness the power of LinkedIn. Well, who am I and why might you want to listen to me? I describe myself as an accidental surgeon. I was in a graduate program when one day I had a surgical emergency. I was rushed to the operating room where I was found to have an actively bleeding ovarian cyst with about half of my blood volume in my pelvis. When I said goodbye to my then fiance, I thought it was the final goodbye. I was so grateful to wake up in the recovery room that I just knew that I was going to be a doctor and save other people's lives like my own had been saved. Not surprisingly, I became a surgeon and set up a private practice here in Seattle. In the late 90s, I became a family caregiver. I took a leave from my practice and supported myself by being an expert in medical malpractice lawsuits. After about a year, my caregiving role came to an end, and the question was, what's next? Well, I had been a doctor, a patient, a family caregiver. I'd seen the best of the American healthcare system and the worst, and I thought I had some insights about why care goes off track. I thought, what if I could help doctors and patients and caregivers collaborate more effectively? I could potentially help teams get better medical outcomes at a lower cost and prevent the kind of nightmares that I had seen. In 2000, I launched my consulting business, Medical Bridges, intended to be the bridge between the care people wanted and the care they were getting. I thought this was going to be a slam dunk. I was wrong. I struggled trying to get my message out there. I kept on hiring more expensive mentors and coaches and consultants. When I was over in Europe for a meeting, I had an aha moment while going to plug in my laptop. I couldn't plug my laptop directly into the wall because Europe is wired differently than the U.S. And I thought, that's it. I, as a physician, am wired differently than business-minded people. In essence, I built a bridge between the world of business and the world of medicine so that I could successfully cross over. Once I did, I got much better results. My secret sauce that I bring to you is the ability to characterize the differences between the world of medicine and the world of business. I help business-minded people successfully enter the world of medicine and acquire doctor clients. In addition, I help doctors think in a more business-minded way so that they can run more profitable practices that will help them achieve the personal and professional and financial goals that attracted them to a career in medicine. Let's dig in with proven strategic approaches that will help you generate doctor leads. The challenge of engaging doctor prospects reminds me of the rhyme of the ancient mariner. Water, water everywhere, nor a drop to drink. So there are doctors all around you. It's no challenge getting email lists or lists of phone numbers. The problem is actually getting past the gatekeeper and reaching them. Let's take an example. Half of doctors are behind in retirement planning and only half are working with financial advisors. When the 50% of the do-it-yourselfers were asked, why don't you work with an advisor? Almost half of those people said, I can't find somebody that I can trust. The obvious solution is to add links in the chain of trust. There are already people who know you, like you, and trust you. They know doctor buyers have them introduce you to those doctors. The second strategy is to build relationships by delivering value. And remember, value like beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. In the course, we talked about the concept of the golden triangle, the elements of strategic marketing campaigns that work. The first question when designing campaigns is what bucket do you wanna draw leads from? Think of three lead buckets. The first are family, friends, and fans, the people who know you, like you, and trust you. The second bucket are people with lists of your buyers. It might be the executive director of a medical association 
or somebody who already sells a product to a doctor. The third bucket contains buyer information seekers, doctors who are actively out looking for solutions to the problems that you address. Next, you decide what kind of campaign you're going to launch. Is this going to be relationship marketing where you reach out and build a relationship? Is it going to be educational marketing where you reach out and deliver high value educational content? Or will it be community marketing where you become the architect of community? Doctors love exclusive clubs. Can you create a club that they can join? Next, consider strategic partners. Are there other individuals or organization who would benefit from joining with you and co-launching this campaign? Maybe it's a medical association. Maybe it's a vendor who sells things already to doctors. Or maybe you want to partner with a key physician opinion leader. Next, consider the time scale. If you want rapid results, the best thing to do is to reach out to family, friends, and fans and add a link in the chain of trust. Generally, building relationships with centers of influence, I call them senders, people with lists of your buyers, is a medium-term result. And building a relationship with doctor buyers by delivering high-value content is generally a long-term campaign. As you launch your campaigns, you want to leverage your resources. And what is leverage? Well, think about an Allen wrench. You can put the long end or the short end in the Allen screw. When you put the short end in, you have the longest lever arm and you get the greatest result for the effort that you invest. You always want to consider how you are going to get the greatest impact for your marketing resources. You have greater leverage when you deliver to your prospects something that they want rather than something that they need. You have greater leverage when you approach somebody who already knows you rather than a stranger. Getting in front of groups of buyers is a much more effective use of your time than getting in front of individuals. Given the choice, you'd rather develop a relationship with somebody with a large sphere of influence than one with a small sphere of influence. We've talked about bee and flower strategies. In order to make honey, you need a bee and you need pollen from a flower. Are you behaving more like a bee, flitting from flower to flower? Or are you behaving like a flower, where you offer things that attract the bees to you? You can increase your leverage with technology. Which is more effective, having an ATM or a bank teller? Last, you gain leverage when you network on LinkedIn, and that's what this presentation is about. Any successful marketing campaign that you launch can be modified to harness the power of LinkedIn. LinkedIn is an extraordinary resource. It's sort of like a high performance race car. The problem is most people get in this car and just go to the grocery store to get groceries. They have no idea about what this resource is really capable of. Let's take a specific example. My favorite go-to marketing campaign, the Do You Know Marketing Campaign. This is where you make a list of people who already know you, like you, trust you. You approach them and plant your flag in the medical market. You let them know that you're serving doctors. And then you make an offer. You say, if you know any of these doctors that I serve, have them contact me and I will send them a free yummy treat, something special that they really want to receive. I just want to remind you that you can find these resources on the Academy of Physician Engagement. At the top, you'll see a tab for Done For You Marketing. If you click on that, you can go to the specific marketing campaign where you'll find scripts and templates and how-to instructions that will walk you through each step of the process. For this Do You Know campaign, you'll also find information that you can co-brand and deliver as value. Here's how LinkedIn can help you launch this campaign. First, LinkedIn can help you reach family, friends, and fans. As you go on to LinkedIn, you'll be invited to import your email contacts. I recommend doing this. Next, you can reach out to your existing prospects and clients on LinkedIn. You can do a person search and identify these people, reach out and make a connection. Once you make a connection, LinkedIn allows you to tag this contact. 
So I have relationships with all sorts of people, with physicians, with dentists, with financial advisors, with medical billers. When I develop a contact, I can identify who they are. So when I reach out to contacts, I can pull up sublists. You can also find people from your past. For example, LinkedIn makes it easy for you to find alumni. Just go under the Connections tab and you'll find it in a drop-down menu. LinkedIn can help you identify centers of influence, the people I call senders, and build relationships with them. You might want to find groups of senders. Let's say you're a financial advisor and you want to build relationships with estate planners. You can go in and find groups of estate planners in your area. You can do advanced searches to find people who might hold a certain position or work in a certain industry. In the search bar, right next to the regular search, you can find an advanced search. Here's the screen. You see what kind of criteria you can sort with. You can also use the profiles of your connection to do research. Let's say that you've got a client who's a cardiologist. You might want to look on that profile and find out what groups this cardiologist belongs to, to whom is he connected. That will give you ideas about places to go and build relationships. You can also see what influencers members of your groups are following and what companies they follow. Birds of a feather flock together. Those are places you probably want to be also. LinkedIn can also help you connect with doctor information seekers, the doctors who are actively looking for resources to solve specific problems. The first step is to have a keyword-rich profile so that you will be found. You can use all of the ideas for search engine optimization that help you get your website found to be found on LinkedIn. In fact, LinkedIn will even make suggestions about keywords to consider. You can also be found by joining conversations and adding some insightful comments. I will frequently get contacted by group members just on the basis of having something unique to say in a conversation. You can also share an update. LinkedIn allows you to choose with whom you'll share this update. You could share it just with your connections, with the community at large, or even integrate it with your Twitter account. Last, LinkedIn now allows you to upload and distribute content. LinkedIn has become a publishing platform. In your own profile, you can include videos and PDFs and slideshows. They've also got their own publication they call Pulse. You can essentially blog on LinkedIn. Now you have to apply and be approved. But once that's done, this is a great platform. This is like having your lemonade stand in the middle of the traffic instead of having it off on a dead end somewhere. I use this platform to test out article titles or sound bites. You can see there's great variation in the number of views that I've gotten. Right now, the best title that I've had so far is The Myth of the Rich Doctor with over 14,000 views. You can also connect with information seekers by posting ads at a very low cost. You can let like-minded people know about your events. It's best, though, to put them in the promotion area of group discussions rather than general discussions. If you're excited about the idea of using LinkedIn to generate doctor leads and acquire more doctor clients, what are your next steps? The best way is to start with the right mindset. Andrew Carnegie said so eloquently, no man becomes rich unless he enriches others. LinkedIn is basically about supporting the success of others. If you adopt this mindset of service, you are in the best position to succeed on LinkedIn. Find out how you can serve, not how you can sell. Next, clarify your goals. Exactly what would you like to accomplish with your presence on LinkedIn? One of the first questions that you want to ask is whether your doctor buyers are on LinkedIn. You should know that there is an entire separate platform for doctors called Doximity. It was built by the people who built LinkedIn. Right now, about half of physicians are on there. Next, 
You want to craft your profile so that it's going to support your goals that you have for your LinkedIn campaigns. Are you trying to reach family, friends, and fans? Are you trying to reach centers of influence? Are you trying to reach the doctors? You want to include the keywords that will support the overall goal that you want to achieve on LinkedIn. As you're working on this platform, follow the suggestions that LinkedIn makes. It will walk you through all sorts of things. You'll get ideas about what keywords to use, what people to contact, what people you might want to know. You want to grow your network with people who will help you get connected ultimately to Dr. Byers. LinkedIn allows you to directly reach out to first degree connections, people who've already agreed to connect with you. Let's say you identified a center of influence and you wanted to reach out. You could look at their profile and see if you share any connections and get an introduction from somebody who's a first degree connection with you. Or you could see what groups they join and join one of those groups and send a direct message to them. Next, create or curate content. If you're an expert, go ahead and share your articles, your videos, your posts, your special reports. If you look on the Academy of Physician Engagement, you will find special reports and all sorts of little tidbits that you can share with your groups on LinkedIn. If you want to become the architect of a community, you can start your own group. This is just scratching the surface of the kind of powerful marketing opportunities that LinkedIn offers. I hope that you will take advantage of some of them, test them out, see how it works for you. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope that you found value in this content. If you're serious about the medical market, please feel welcome to go to www.targetingdoctors.com. There you'll be able to sign up and get regular tips that will help you accelerate your business growth by acquiring more physician clients. Thanks again.